It's easy to use QuickVet. To start the instrument, push the button on the back. The instrument starts up, and you'll be asked to remove the sealing cartridge. As you remove the cartridge, you will be presented with four test options. Coagulation for feline and canine, blood typing canine DEA 1.1, and for Brinogen for equine. To start testing, push this button. The coagulation test pouch contains a cartridge and a pipette. When prompted for the cartridge code, type the code found on the front of the cartridge pouch. You will be reminded that you should use whole blood collected in citrate tube. Please confirm this by pressing the confirm button. You can add information about the patient by using the on-screen keyboard. You have the option to enter both patient name and sample ID. The instrument now heats the cartridge and when the correct temperature is reached, the instrument beeps to inform the user it is time to add the sample. Use the pipette from the pouch and add a drop of blood into the vial. It is not possible to overfill the well as in other systems. Once the sample is deposited into the well, the test starts automatically. You may follow the progress on screen. While the test is running, let's look into how it works. The cartridge contains two chambers for testing PT and APTT. Reagents are embedded in the cartridge channels. Looking into the cartridge, one can see that blood enters the PT chamber, reacts with the reagent, and the coagulation process starts. After a while, when coagulation occurs and the flow of blood into this chamber stops, the coagulation time has been measured. When the instrument beeps, the test has been completed and the results are ready to view on the display. On the screen, you can read not only the coagulation time, but also the normal range for PT and APTT. This enables the user to determine if there is a coagulation issue. If you need advice on a possible diagnosis, push the clinical advice button and QuickVet will present potential diagnoses depending on if PT and or APTT are prolonged. You can print the result by pushing the print button or go back to the menu screen under history and see up to 1000 samples you've previously measured. Remove the used cartridge from the analyzer and discard it.